What is up SMMA fam? Let's talk about how to blow up your agency using cold email. If you've been around this channel for a while, you know that we are bullish on cold email is an amazing way to get clients. Cold email has been the single biggest driver to our seven figure social media marketing agency over time, constantly performing and constantly bringing in new clients. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how our team builds cold email sequences to actually get responses from prospects and how you can do this in a completely automated fashion while doing other things. Maybe you have a nine to five job. Maybe you don't have a lot of availability during the day. The beauty of cold email, especially if you're just getting started with your SMMA, is it can be running around the clock when you are doing other things, even if you don't have time to be sending the emails one by one. My goal for this video is to teach you everything you need to know to be doing cold email, get you set up and get you paid. So if you're ready to get paid, drop get paid in the comments down below and make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we are dropping heat like this every single week. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it into the computer. All right. So first of all, let's talk about the platform that we're actually going to be using here. The platform that we recommend is called Apollo.io. Now it's definitely not the cheapest option, but it is by far the best and most versatile option. And it also combines an amazing place to source contacts along with an amazing way to sequence emails and do it all completely automated. We have followed Apollo's development journey over the past couple of years, and we've watched them continue to iterate and develop and just improve the platform. And I honestly couldn't be happier with it. Apollo does start at about hundred dollars. So some cheaper options for you might be Lemlist or something like yet another mail merge, which you can do through Google Sheets, but the concepts I explain in this video will still be exactly the same. In addition to one of those email platforms that I just named, you're also gonna need a place to find your leads if you're not gonna be using Apollo. Some other good places to go are D7 Lead Finder, Google Local Search, or even going to Upwork and hiring a data scraper to pull down lists of verified emails for contacts within your niche for you. But for the sake of this video and explaining it and making it quick, let's just assume that we're gonna go ahead and sign up for Apollo.io, which is definitely what I would recommend. When you do the math on the time that you'll save using Apollo, the $100 per month subscription is actually incredibly cheap for the value that you get and the amount of time that you're gonna save by using this platform. So what you're seeing here is the Apollo.io cockpit. Now, if you were doing this yourself, you'd see this lit up with a bunch of deliverability data, but because our team does all of this for us these days, my account's actually not super active. But you have a couple key things that you wanna worry about here. First of all is your dashboard. This is gonna roll up all of your stats so you can see what's happening. You're also gonna have your search function, which is where you actually can source all of your contacts and add them to your sequences. And then you're gonna have your engage section. And I'm gonna go ahead and sanitize this just because we have a lot of confidential client information in the names of these sequences. But what each of these are, are a bunch of sequences that we've been using to get clients for our agency in the past. So this is where we're gonna go ahead and build our sequence. So let's go ahead and get started with engage and we'll come back to search and add in some contacts here in just a second. So if you're coming into this brand new, there's not gonna be any sequences here, obviously, because you haven't built any yet. There's just gonna be an option to create a new sequence, but you can go ahead to the upper right-hand corner here and click new sequence and you can choose from a pre-built, new, or clone an existing sequence here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose new. I found that the pre-built ones really aren't that good anyways. So let's just go ahead and for simplicity's sake, go ahead and create a new sequence. We can call it my outreach sequence, and then we're gonna go ahead and create it. So now we have what are called steps, right? So when you think about steps, basically this is your first email outreach and then all of your follow-up email outreaches to them. If you don't have an email script right away, go ahead and check out the description down below. I'll give you one of our cold email scripts completely for free that you can use. And I'm gonna use that for this example as well. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is add a step. We're gonna go ahead and choose an automatic email. And then I like to change this to just five minutes after being added. There's really no need to wait 30 minutes, but five minutes gives you a nice little buffer in case you have some sort of error, you upload the wrong list, your fields are messed up or something, whatever it is. Let's go ahead and click continue. Now, what you're seeing here is actually our template of what we're actually gonna be sending over. So this is just like sending a one-to-one -one email in Gmail, except we're gonna use what are called merge fields to personalize against things like their name, maybe time of day and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and open up our cold email scripts and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this over. So I'm gonna grab the subject line here, drop that in here for email one. I'm gonna come over here and grab the body and I'm gonna drop that here. So my name's David, right? Our agency is named VTL. And then I'm gonna go ahead and instead of the name placeholder here, I'm gonna choose a dynamic variable or a merge field for the first name. I'm gonna delete that placeholder text. And now what this is gonna do is it's actually gonna merge that person's first name from our contact list and personalize the email for them. And then we've got, I hope you're having a good insert day of week. And we can actually merge that as well. 
All right, so good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and search day. And it's gonna go ahead and say now weekday, right? So if today's Wednesday, it's gonna say, I hope you're having a good Wednesday, good Thursday, whatever it is. I'm doing a bit of outreach to other insert niche owners. Let's just say we work in the fitness industry. So fitness studio owners. Then we go ahead and continue personalizing this, right? Insert niche, increase the result that we get, more clients, more signups, more memberships, whatever it is. And then bingo, bango, we are ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save that email. Okay. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is we have follow-up emails that we want to send, and this is all going to happen automatically through Apollo.io for us. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to grab the second email here and we can see that this is a reply to the previous message. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a step automatic email once again. And then our timing is three business days after email one, which is the default setting here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to continue. So this pops up by default, right? So what I'm going to do, if you remember, is it's a reply to a previous message. So I'm going to go ahead and choose reply to previous thread. So what this is going to do is it's actually going to reply to the previous message as if I had actually gone into my Gmail account, found that email that I sent Jerry or whomever it is, and I'd replied to it following up with them. So it looks super personalized. Like we actually took the time to email this to them one by one. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is again, I'm just going to grab this placeholder text here, drop it here, nice and simple, delete name, drop in my first name. And then obviously we would have our signature on here, right? David Schlaes, BTL. And under your settings, up here in the top right. This is where you'd add in your mailbox and all the stuff it'll take you through in the onboarding wizard. But obviously you're gonna tie this to your business email and all that stuff. Kind of skipped over that in the start of the video. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and save this. So now we have two emails going out automatically. So the second that I add one person to this, they're gonna get five minutes later the first email and then automatically without me having to do anything else at all, three days after that, they're gonna go ahead and get another email following up with them checking in on that previous email completely automatically. This saves hundreds of hours per month if you're sending hundreds of emails. It's absolutely crazy. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna follow up one more time. I'm a big fan of three touch emails with a final follow up here. So I'm gonna go ahead, automatic email. This one has a different subject line. So we're gonna go ahead and add that in. And our timing for this email is five business days later. So I'm just gonna go ahead and update this. Five business days after email one, drop that in there. Again, we're gonna personalize it with the fields and everything else. Then we're gonna grab that subject line following up. Let's chat. I'm also a big fan of these brackets in subject line. Lines. It kind of differentiates it in the inbox, kind of pops out to them. People aren't used to seeing that. It kind of interrupts the pattern. So I'm a big fan of things like that in subject lines that are super straightforward, but not misleading where it catches their attention, but they know what to expect when they actually open that email. It's not baiting them into opening it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and save. Now you may be watching as I run through this here. We have this AI assistant on the right hand side, immensely powerful. You can use it. I have found that the scripts that we've been running for years outperform anything these AI assistants have come up with to date. I'm sure they'll get better in the future, but just something to keep in mind. Now you will notice something that's kind of a recurring theme through this is personalization. There's all kinds of different fields that you can do in terms of dynamic variables here. Uh, you can do custom fields, like say you have a data point in a spreadsheet for a bunch of people. You could personalize it with that specific data point. There's all kinds of things that you could do in here. You can do it city, like hey, notice you're from San Francisco, love San Francisco, like whatever it is that you want to do, you can personalize it. And the more personalization you do, the more personalized that message and the more one-to-one -one and individualized that person receiving it is going to see your email coming through to them. So that can definitely increase the number of replies that you're getting just because it makes it seem like you're actually taking the time to know something about them, which is just going to increase your responses overall. All right, so now we have our three part email. This is happening automatically. You could be sequencing this at 11 o'clock at night. You'd be sequencing this at two o'clock in the morning, but because we have what are called rules, it's only going to email them during the office hours that we select. So the beauty of this is that no matter what time you're emailing or what time you're adding these people into the sequence, it's only going to email them during business hours due to the sequence schedule that we set. So what this means is that during our default setting, it's only going to email between 8 and 5 p.m., which is business hours, right? So you could be sequencing people at 11 p.m. You could be sequencing people at 2 a.m. And it's going to wait until 8 a.m. to begin sending them. One other thing that we definitely want to do is we want to make sure that we set a limit on our mailboxes. We want to have no more than 400 going out per day with 100 is the hourly limit, absolute max. And you can definitely use this warm up feature here as well. One thing to mention is we do have what's called an SMTP delivery service tied into Apollo called Send. I definitely would recommend setting that up. They have some instructions on their website on how to do that. It's kind of complex, so I'm not going to get into all those steps here, but this allows us to actually send, you know, 400 emails per day without any sort of problem. The max amount that you can send by the default Gmail settings is 400 per day. That's a hard rule for Google. And if you hit that, there's a good chance that they might actually restrict your account. So you want to stay well below that unless you're setting up that SMTP server. So if you're not doing SMTP, I would set your daily limit to 200 max, and I would set your hourly limit to 40 max. That way you're not going to have any sort of 
problems when it comes to your deliverability and them going through and actually seeing your message and you'll be in good standing with Google without any problems like them restricting your account. Now let's go ahead and actually add some contacts in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here to search and then let's say, like I said, we're in the fitness niche. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose the United States for my location and then under industry, I'm gonna choose health, wealth, and fitness. So we can see here there's 974,000 results here of people that are in the fitness niche. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna refine that a little bit. So let's say we're just getting started. Obviously, we're not gonna to wanna to be working with the Gold's Gyms and the LA Fitnesses of the world. So a good thing to do might be to restrain it either by revenue count or by head count. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I'm gonna go ahead and go to number of employees. I'm gonna go after some of the smaller companies, right? Maybe up to 50 employees. Now we've got 348,000 people here. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna filter by the seniority of the people within the organization. Let's say I only wanna reach out to people that are super high level. I'm gonna to go to management level, owner, founder, C-suite. So now we've got 67,000 people here, okay? Now, all these are definitely not gonna be a fit for our agency. So you would wanna go through here, you'd wanna select them, but this is an amazing way to find contact information with verified emails for all kinds of people within your niche in a really, really short amount of time. You can select them one by one, then you can go ahead and click sequence here, add to existing sequence, and you'll choose your sequence name that you just created, and it's automatically gonna go ahead and start emailing those folks. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is I'm gonna take three people here. Let's say these are all good. Now you would go through all 67,000 of these results. You'd see who should be sequenced, who shouldn't. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna choose our sequence add them on in there. We're gonna go ahead and confirm. So now if we pop over into our engage tab, we can see here under our outreach sequence, we can go ahead and activate it. These folks are gonna begin populating here in our sequence. All right, so you can see that they are scheduled. So in the next four minutes, these people are gonna begin getting our emails and start making their way through our three step follow-up funnel. Because this is directly tied to our business email, they're gonna to reply to our business email and we're gonna see that in our Gmail inbox as well as in here under our responses. So that is all that there is to sending hundreds of automated emails emails every single day, sourcing contacts, getting those emails out and blowing up our agency with revenue through cold email. Anybody can do this. It's the most basic, most effective way to get clients for our agency. If you haven't already, make sure you pop over to this video where I go ahead and I explain our exact psychology behind all of how we do our cold emailing scripts, the whole process behind how we go about our scripting and how to actually do cold email for your agency. If you found this helpful, make sure to drop get paid in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. We're dropping SMA content like this every single week like clockwork. So we'll see you next week for the next video. Thanks for watching.